Hi, welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you a walkthrough for the image Death Stalks Us With Fire. Um, this was sort of a an art commentary on the state of um, things happening in Australia at the moment with um, so much of the country on fire. It's pretty horrific loss of life, um, loss of livelihoods and the loss of property. Um, so many things are just so horrible for so many people um, and there's not a lot I could physically do about it apart from you know donating, offering help etc. Things like that but um, I felt that I wanted to artistically put um, something across so what um, what I ended up with um, this is quite an old piece that I completely revisioned um, but uh, I thought I would give you a bit of a walkthrough on it I didn't do a speed edit on this one so this is the original image and if we go all the way back to the start um, it's square um, just plain black and I bought in the original um, photo which um, is this so it's quite dark so the original photo is quite dark um, my model is shot um, just in the studio with a single light giving uh, minimal um, highlights to the piece I then um, did a hue saturation layer and I painted in um, and cleaned up so that she disappeared into the background basically um, did a little bit of a sparkle on her eyes and a slight skin softening I then brought in um, these images which are smoke um, which is then put over the top now these are were taken in the studio um, they're just literally smoke on a black background um, the same background I was using so it pretty much disappeared and then with a layer mask I just masked out where I wanted it so I didn't want so much on my model so there were two different layers there um, I then did a hue saturation level just to um, tidy a few things up um, I wanted to desaturate a little bit but still leaving the, the reds and things like that. I then brought in the Raven, which I did um, a drop shadow. Actually, I did a couple of drop shadows because I wanted to bring that out more. And I also did a um, bit of a highlight over the top, just so that it was fitting in with the lights that was coming through. I then also added some water ripples down the bottom because I wanted her standing in water. Um, I then also took some of the image, um, as you can see, and I flipped it and brought it in at a lower opacity and blurred it a little bit. And that is my reflection in the water. Um, I then put more water ripples over the top and popped in a little splash where the sword was hitting the edge of the water. I then also brought in some fire. So um, I had a couple of different, it was just a couple of different copies of it. These are set to screen just to knock the black out. And I put in a few different ones around my water splash so wherever she was touching the water flames were were coming up um, I then put in a texture which is set at soft light at a hundred percent it looks like that I think it was at about ten percent then I brought in just painting in some white to bring in some light of course I blurred that and set it to soft light I then brought in a color fill which is a really really um, 
dark, dark blue set to lighten at 100%. I then used a color lookup table. This one is Foggy Night, um, which is set at 13%, just to sort of tie everything back in together. Um, I then brought in another texture which is so minimal it's almost imperceptible um, it's just a bit of grain that I put through I did a curves layer which is just a very slight one but I took it off my model because I didn't want it on her then doing it the move so control alt shift and E I merged that all onto its own layer and took it into exposure 3 and did slightly soft and yellow um, which is Polaroid filter I then did a hue saturation and dropped everything down apart um, and then inverted it so all I really wanted it to affect was those flames at the bottom which were standing out a bit too much um, I then added a glow um, to the top and the bottom these are just yellow paint which is just sort of blobbed in um, and set to screen at 12% um, just to sort of give a glow over that whole area um, and that's the finished piece so um, it really came together quite quickly um, sometimes you can spend hours and hours days working on a piece and other pieces come together quite quickly so that's it for death stalks us with fire um, i hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching bye for now